Ooh, daddy. All right, you guys, so this is kind of last minute, but I decided to add it into the beginning of this video because she uploaded it while I'm editing. So let's just take a look at it. This is her 565 pounds versus 519 pounds. And I'm just adding it to this video because it's only a minute long. So it definitely doesn't warrant an entire new upload. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is strictly to... This is 524. Here, I was super crazy about wow. everything being clean. 565. Clean. So, so she is wearing the same top, and I do see a difference. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So, um, I have gained a few pounds. Amberlynn, this is only for you. I just, I don't understand why she would upload a one minute clip. Why she couldn't fill in the other nine minutes is beyond me, but. I don't know. Um, she gained four pounds, so that's not a good sign, you guys. Upload it on the internet. Now that I'm able to start cleaning more, it makes me feel so much better because it's kind of therapeutic. I don't know. It's like this weird thing. So, <laughs> I've gained four pounds since my lowest of 519. So, so she did say before, right, she just said that... Um, she may or may not upload this. This is just for her. Uh, notice the attitude change. I mean, the way she's talking, it seems reminiscent of her very first vlogs. You guys know that low voice that she used that she claimed she just um, was shy about vlogging, which I understand that completely. I just want to see a difference. But... I'm just forcing myself through the pain and it just feels really good to do some dishes. Like it's really weird. Like the so I'm using the same phone, camera. That's what I use my camera on. Sitting in the same spot, same chair, same shirt. Same All right. wood, and we're gonna see if there is a difference. Same updo. Her hair looks way cleaner now, so we have to give her that. She does look a lot better now. She does. All right, girl. All right, you got it. So, wow, that was extra, but she wanted to get a point across, and I do see it. Let me know what you guys think, and let's get into this one year ago versus today video. And you guys are going to want to stick around because we do have some shocking revelations. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So today I decided we would go ahead and take a look back at Amberlynn's life just one year ago and today we're looking at her video called grocery haul and rafe vlogging and i am super excited we don't really see rafe in her videos much anymore i believe that since they had their falling out things just haven't been the way that they used to be but she did come for becky's birthday and i think that's the last time we saw her in this video amberlynn is just starting out her octavia phase so we get to see how that goes i think that's related to um it's relating to what she's doing right now as far as her cycle goes she just stopped doing her freshly meals which were wor was working for her <laughs> was working for me so this is not just an ordinary retro reaction video this is one year ago versus today so let's just get right into it shall we hey guys so <laughs> hey i'm Lynn. <laughs> today is january 31st 2019 and I kind of yes. So this video was uploaded on February first of twenty nineteen. So we are exactly just one year ago. Wanna just do a video before I start this new program, which I am so excited for. I have done extensive research on this program, and. Everything just watching the Octavia era back now that we know exactly what happened. I mean, wow. Read about it has been amazing. Every person who has done it has nothing but good things to say about it. Um, That's because a lot of the people that were doing this Octavia program were sponsored or they were trying to sell it 
to other people. So of course they're not going to say bad things about it. They're trying to make coin. Which is different because usually with any program, you know, there's people who have done it and they're just like, mm, didn't really care for it very much or they just have some type of negative thing to say about it. But with this, it's all been so nice and there's such a huge community. Right. That's because yet again, they're trying to sell it to suckas like you and it worked. <laughs> um, they only got you for one month, but hey, because, oh, by the way, it's Octavia. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right this time. If I'm not, we, there's days to fix it. But once you... If you guys don't know what Octavia is, they actually send you about a month's worth of food, I believe. And <clears throat> it's mostly like glorified snacks. You got soups that are in pouches, smoothies, like diet food. And I believe she said it comes out to be like 900 calories a day. So, of course, the calories are the main reason that you're going to be losing weight on this program. Um, a lot of granola bars, things like that. Amberlynn had those granola bars on her kitchen counter for months after. Sign up to do it. You are part of the Facebook community, and it's just there are so many people on there and sharing their stories and giving advice. And it's just like Facebook is just so toxic. I would recommend anyone to reevaluate what you're doing on Facebook and if the negativity is even worth your time. Something like this isn't wrong. This company has won awards, and it's just. I'm excited and people, um, I have gotten the question, am I getting paid? No. Uh, am I a coach? No, obviously not. <laughs> I'm not getting paid to talk about this. I'm doing this on my own because I yeah, felt it's confirmed, you know, she was doing it on her own desperate. I felt like I just, I couldn't figure it out because so many people ask me all the time, like, why can't you just eat less? Why can't you just I wonder do if her Octavia situation <laughs> sparked any intrigue or controversy among the Octavia enthusiasts. Low carb, why da, 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 da. cook yourself. I can't. It's all part of the eating disorder and that's why I love how this program is designed. So there she's saying she cannot cook herself. And there's been a lot of debate recently about her freshly meal program. It was working for her. Why do I keep saying that? Um, well, it was through uh, January, as I believe. I'm not exactly sure when she started it exactly, but it seemed to be working. So her stopping, you know, doesn't look like a good sign to me. And to where I don't have to think about it. It's just already there for me. All I have to do is grab it and right. make it. That would be exactly and like what she has now. Um, you know, it's not the freshest. It's pretty lazy to do like freshly meals every day. But if it's really working for her, I believe that it would be a positive thing for now, you know? And I think that's where I'm gonna succeed in this because I'm also getting a vast majority of people just saying, why do you think this is going to work? I think the problem she had, of course, with Octavia was it was just like granola bars and soup and smoothies and stuff like that. Like, a, like some junk food, hundred calorie packs. Like it's really not satiating, but at least with this new one she was doing, you know, it was typical meals like broccoli and chicken parma, parmigini. <laughs> so it it was you know satiating filling i'm very hopeful that it is because a big part of this is mental 95 percent of it 96 percent of it is mental and it's very important that i do <laughs> see a therapist and work on the mental aspects so this can be a successful thing because I just feel like 
this is one of my last options and I'm you know just I'm really not really sure right now if she is seeing a therapist like I don't think she's really confirmed that but um she is seeing a psychiatrist but of course that is not the same as therapy they're just there to prescribe meds check in things like that they're not going to sit down and talk to you for 45 minutes because that's you know not their job so I'm not sure if she's actually seeing like a counselor at the moment nervous but I'm also really excited and I wish more people were excited for me because if you have done true research on this then you would know that <laughs> when people say that it's a pyramid scheme you would it know is. you would firsthand know. that those are all just assumptions and opinions it's not fact so i just think it's yeah it is. it's really sad that people are throwing it's that out there set because up exactly like your typical pyramid scheme your typical mlm this could be a program that could change someone's life whoever if, if someone's watching me and they look into it because this has changed a lot of people's lives and what I, I mean, really I think it, it definitely could help. I mean, it just works on calories in, calories out, basically. But um it just wouldn't work for you <laughs> because it's the food is just not filling or you know. I like about this program is that it was doomed every from the start vitamin that you need is in the food for the full day and they have probiotics and it's just it's there's no artificial sweeteners flavors or anything like that i'm just i'm really excited because eating how i do now all the junk and just it's constant junk fast food and candy and hot just imagine Cheeto. if she like stuck to this program for the whole year how much weight she would have lost it was like that doesn't have vitamins in it that doesn't have the things i need in my food on the daily that does it just doesn't this is gonna help me have vitamins like i'm i'm sure that i don't have like very much vitamin D. I'm, I feel like I'm lacking that because I, I don't even go outside that often. There is a science. Yeah, right. She's always sitting on that step to get her vitamin D. That's her daily dose of vitamin D, y'all. Behind this program to where it keeps you full, it keeps you satiated, it gives you energy. And I'm just, I'm happy about it. And I'm excited and I want people to be excited with me. And I want people to be positive about it but I just feel like there's a lot of negativity because people have preconceived notions you know people or have a lot of opinions in the end you know we were were we right I don't I mean she just quit so it was kind of like kind of like a done deal after two days right you guys preconceived thoughts based on this company which is so crazy and I go to other YouTube channels of people who are doing this program. It was an MLM. So I mean, it, it, it does seem kind of shysty in those business practices, whereas Freshly is just a business. Sweet in the comments, but it's just like my comment section is like so vile and I hate it. Um, <laughs> but let's It's vile. On. It's toxic. It's disgusting. Um, I believe she has tried uh, HelloFresh before, but... Um, I don't know, she should give it another go. At least that gets her doing an activity. You know, it would be great to film videos doing the HelloFresh meals. On from that, today my goal is to clean out the whole kitchen cabinet and throw away anything in there because I can't have oh, any gosh. of it. Um, anything that is mine that Becky doesn't want, I'm going to throw away. Which reminds me, I'm also getting the question, is Becky doing this? She's not. She's not right now. Um, she said she wants to see she how you know it treats me and all that stuff. And then if it works for me, then she'll try it because she's really picky when it comes to food. So she just wants to see kind of like what kind of food I'll be eating while doing this. It's not a program that would work for very many people at all. I feel like it's a desperate move. Definitely a desperate move. There's no way I would want to eat granola bars and smoothies and, you know, chicken broth. No way. 
so she's not doing it right now though but it's different like of course she's you know bigger and she has to lose weight but i'm at a point bigger. where we all Jane know bigger. i will die within the next few years if i don't do something about it now and that's why this program is so important to me i also need to go to walmart today because there are a lot of things that I need to buy for my lean and green meal. You know, I did say it was, you know, a desperate move, but hey. You know, she was really desperate. Which, I don't really have anything on hand, so I need to go to the store for that. I also need to go to the store for measuring tape, because I lost mine, because I have to take my measurements tonight. And then I have wow, to... Wow, so um, she spent, like... I would say she probably dropped around six hundred dollars for this two-day diet because we know um, that the box of food for the month was four hundred, which is, you know, really out of this world. You could do HelloFresh for less than that. Probably a lot. I'm not sure the exact prices, but um, <laughs> then she went to Walmart and she bought all that stuff and. You know, I would approximate about $600. Get, like, containers to put my feelings in, which is the food that they send me. There's just a few other things that are really important that I need to um, get to start tomorrow. I am so anxious. I really hope I do start tomorrow. It's going to depend on when the package gets here. If the package right. doesn't get here tomorrow, then obviously I'm not starting tomorrow, but I'm crossing my fingers that it does get here because I am just like she so anxious. She did that iconic um, unboxing of her Octavia food, which was, of course, you know, glorified snacks at the end of the day. Like those little hundred calorie... <laughs> as soon as I saw that box, I knew, you know, this just isn't going to work. And I'm ready to get the ball on the road. Okay, so I'm actually about to get ready for the day, but before I forget, I hope people actually made it this far in the video. Um, we did. This is surprisingly probably not going to make a lot of people happy. <laughs> this is going to be very hard for me because social media is addicting. I swear they put like some hypnosis on our phone and on our little social media no. apps that we go to, like. Instagram and Twitter. Oh my gosh, do you guys follow Amberlynn's new Instagram at Pineapple Pinup? I love that name. It just rolls off the tongue. Pineapple Pinup, Pineapple Pinup, Pineapple Pinup. Such a good name. I swear, there's just like straight up hypnosis on there. <laughs> Not even kidding. Because I go on there all the time. I mean, I do have a huge following, so it's like I feel like I have to. <laughs> To check on things, read messages, retweet, I love the humble read brag. comments on YouTube. You know, I have a huge following, but I get on there for you guys, you know. Oh, I don't do that one a lot, those <laughs> yikes. But, oh, this is going to be hard, and I really want to stick to my guns on this one. Um, I'm going to have to do this for... What do you guys think? Would you like a huge following if 90% of them didn't really particularly like you? I don't know. Clarity of the mind. I'm going to have to do this because I need nothing but positivity in my life. And I am... Oh, God. I don't even know if I can say it out loud. I am going to completely... I wouldn't say, like, turn off social media. Like, I'm still going to be posting on YouTube. Hi. Still going to post on Instagram. <laughs> still going to post on Twitter. I don't think she cut back at all. This is really eye-opening, this Octavia stage, and just how swift and fast she was to quit it. Yikes. But I'm not going to read any messages. I'm not going to read any comments. I'm not going to read any tweets. I'm not going to read anything directed towards me at all. I want to... She did finally, after this uh, video, not right after this video, but, you know, further down the line in 2019, she did, uh, you know, finally throw in a towel to her Twitter. So, I think that kind of was a good move on her part. I mean, people on Twitter are not exactly big fans of her, and she couldn't help herself but to clap back all the time give it about a month the full month of february because it's just too much negativity right now and when i get in that she didn't negative mind frame 
I worry way too much. I get way too anxious. I fail even before I start and I just can't do it this time. This is something I've never done before. Um, I have gone through times where I didn't read any of the comments on YouTube, but I've never actually gone through a time where I didn't read tweets, I didn't read messages, I didn't read anything. So this is gonna be one heck and of a ride. And she likes to say that she doesn't um, read the comments, but a lot of people like to say that, you know, as a response to her, but she said that one time. It was only that one time. She's in there. And I'm really sorry to the people who like support me and want to talk to me, but this won't last forever. It's just for now because I'm finally working on me. I told you guys, I need to work on me this year. And if this is going to help, then this is going to help. As we know, I like to call 2019 the year of maintaining um, because that's, you know, what we did she didn't really gain too much um i'm still gonna be posting on youtube obviously it's my job and i want to share my life with you guys but i hope you guys just enjoy watching so i wanted to show i wanted to show oh, you guys i really was looking forward to seeing this here is the clean out a before of my cabinet this is the one that becky and i use you know it what is really um bothered me was that one video where she threw out all those cliff bars just because they were expired or whatever i mean i know you can't like donate them or anything because they're expired but i don't know it just left a bad taste in my mouth crazy so because they were expired <laughs> we're gonna clear this out anything we don't want we're gonna give away i'm not gonna throw anything away and we're gonna keep what becky wants hold on Let's get a thumbnail in here. Wait, you want this? To, what is my hair? Oh my god. Wait, you want this to be the thumbnail? I want to try some of these. <laughs> oh, thumbnail. Oh, let's do this again. <laughs> oh my god. Girl, you're such a backstabber. <laughs> Did you want to talk to him? I don't know. I, I don't even know how to do this. You want to keep these? I fucked up my hair. I would have no that? time. <sighs> vlogging, vlogging, Stanley. You know, yeah. things really haven't been the same between them because Amberlynn used to go over there and hang out with them all the time. And, you know, it was definitely a good thing that she had some close friends that were close by. And, you know, Rafe actually wanted to hang out with her, unlike Destiny and Dana, who are, you know, just there for the cash. Rafe did seem to enjoy her company, and then she had to go and backstabber uh, I don't know if this is actually ever gonna get on anywhere but uh hey guys it's right it well. and uh, it's good pretty sure bait. Hannah doesn't know that I have the camera I have to keep not <laughs> yeah I have to make sure not to actually look at myself in the, the screen viewfinder thing because I think that's obnoxious but uh, I'm obnoxious so mm -hmm. What? what? That's interesting. So she said, Hannah doesn't know that I have the camera. Did Hannah tell her specifically not to get on camera because she knows what's going to happen? You know, I noticed that Hannah, I don't even know what she looks like. I'm not sure if she was ever on camera, you know, but that's her prerogative and I really don't blame her. I gotta go by. <laughs> How do you stop? <laughs> okay you guys so went to the store we're gonna do a little haulage i have oh, geez. yeah i'm breaking out don't don't mind that so i don't understand why these... youtubers always do that like don't mind this huge pimple on my forehead y'all <laughs> i guess it's um kind of a before you guys say it i'm gonna say it kind of thing but whatever things i got are things that i'm gonna need on program and it's a lot of stuff for my lean and green meal which is seven ounces of a lean protein three servings of a vegetable that is not starchy and the then green. two healthy fats 
That's the lean and green meal. One thing I like about this program is that they do have these interesting names like lean and green, um, feelings, fuelings, fullings. Sorry. You can space it throughout the day, I've been told. So if I want to have like my healthy fats as a snack, I can do that. Right, you I'm pay 400 bucks and you still got to get your own damn lettuce. SMH. I'm allowed to have an optional snack, but it has to be below a certain amount of carbs. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys everything. And no, I don't just eat one time a day. It's going to be six times a day. And um, all the other five times a day is going to be supplied by the program I'm doing. What do you guys so, think? Do you think Amberlynn would benefit more from, you know, six small meals or three regular sized meals and a snack? I don't know. I don't know if it would really make a difference, to be honest. She can choose what works for her. Let's start. Got some pickles, because this could mm. be an optional um, Zero snack. calorie so snack to some of those. Olive oil. This is a healthy fat for, I think it's just a teaspoon. I have everything written down. Light balsamic vinaigrette. I knew exactly what kind of dressing to choose because they give you a list of everything that you're allowed to have. So, little baby shrimp, which my coach said that she likes to put frozen shrimp in the air coach. fryer. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm super excited. Got some unsweetened almond milk. coach is just some random girl who wanted to make a quick buck off of you. She ain't a coach. There are no specifications, qualifications. Nada. Milk. Use this as. She's a salesperson. Condiment. You can use this as a condiment. Pretty sure. Almond um, milk is a condiment. Okay. This is. <sighs> I've never had this kind before. It's only thirty calories per serving, so I feel like I'm not gonna like it, but that's okay. And then here we have. Um. Light string cheese. I think this could be used for like a healthy fat or I can use it for um, my snack, my optional snack, which I'm gonna be honest, every day I'm probably going to be having that because the girl's gonna be ravenous in the beginning, especially. That's I got me a water just now. Definitely not oh, good. Wow. To the top. See, she um, already she already knew what was going to happen, and that's that she was going to be extremely hungry on this program. She knew it before she even began. Mm. <laughs> I got all over me. <laughs> I couldn't do it either. I get so thirsty when I go to the grocery store. No, nope. he also got one. Two bags of green beans because I'm allowed to have three cups. Three cups is three servings of veggies, I'm pretty sure. I have to look all this up, don't worry. I have it all, like I'm gonna get, tomorrow I'm gonna, um, when I get my wow. food, I'm gonna get like booklets. She wasted a lot of time and money on this. Like, we know the meme, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of researching on Google. I mean, she probably spent like five hours, let's be real. Just like going through videos and whatnot. Because there were a lot of people who do videos on this Octavia journey diet thing. And stuff like that to say exactly how much a serving is. But I'm pretty sure for green beans it's a cup. So I also got this mini waffle maker because a lot of people on wow and she Octavia. even bought a waffle maker for the diet that she can't pronounce that she went on for one day so yeah i'd say about six hundred dollars yeah i'm so bad at pronouncing that i'll work on it they use that maybe more to make certain things with it um with their feelings which that's what the food is called is feeling she was sorry, so like not... into it she did put you know a lot of time into it but she knew before that it wasn't gonna work like <sighs> focus right now there we go got a big thing of spinach because this as well for 
Okay, wait. I just remembered the spinach was. Do you think one she just per... used this as you know a money making tool? She knew that this saga would attract a lot of attention, and that you know she would make all the money back plus a hefty sum more just from the videos. I don't know. Serving and this was something to think up. about. So, yeah. Okay. Your girl remembered, <laughs> but for three cups of this, I know the is YouTube for my veggies, so not shabby. <laughs> and then I just got some chicken breast, which for the lean and green, um, I get seven ounces of chicken or seven ounces ounces of shrimp or tilapia. But if it's something more fatty like beef or salmon, it's five ounces, which means you only get one fat with it instead of two. It all makes sense. I know it's a lot at first, but okay. I also got a scale because the other one that I had, I feel like it glitches because it to just um, measure everything on the scale. So, and this is what I'm gonna try using. These are so eye opening. And oh my god, this is probably like the best one year ago versus today video I've ever done. Kudos. Put my feelings in because they're just like these containers. I don't really know, honestly, at the moment if that's gonna work. I don't really know how she many. She did. She put all the bars in that, and it sat on the counter for months until she probably gave it to Rafe before it expired, so she didn't have to throw it out like the other ones. Coming. I mean, I I get the gist. Like over a hundred of them. Oh my god. But I just don't know what that looks like to the eye. <laughs> so. We'll see if that works. Um, there's different ways to store them, but it's just like a lot. So I want to keep it as neat as possible. Last thing I got is this. This is 80 ounces. Pitcher. So every night I am going to fill this up and I have to drink 100 ounces or try to drink 64 ounces to 100 ounces of water a day. More water the better. So yeah, I'm going to yeah, aim for yeah. 100. And this has 80, so what I'm going to do is every night just fill this up. Wait, and I why? know to drink all of this in a day, plus like 20 more ounces. Why which... do you need a pitcher? Pitcher. Yeah, she confuses me with the pictures, pitchers. Why do you need a pitcher to put your water in? You know, you have water bottles, so many of them. So that's measured out. I just don't see the point. I have so many different cups that holds 20 ounces. So I'll start the day right. with the 20 ounces um, for, during my first feeling. And then and that, she didn't even use it. This, if that makes sense. So that's wow. everything I got. And I'm putting yeah. the total up to like 700 possibly. Oh my gosh. So tomorrow I start. I am very nervous. My My excitement has turned into more of like an anxious type feeling because I don't know. Was I have it worth failed. it? Was spending that money worth it um, for the scandal that ensued? I mean, through her own admission, she said just the other day uh, that she could do anything and uh, we would still watch. So I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I think it was $700 is a drop in a bucket for her. So, so much in the past. And I just feel like this is something so different and just like it tells you exactly what to do. And that's just kind of what I've needed. But it and, didn't work. Oh, no. I heard the first week is supposed to be really hard because you go through like detoxing and stuff. And you guys know I eat so much junk. It's just it's going to be really hard. And I kind of want to document that journey. And I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> it. But I'm going to finish this video right now by ending it. <laughs> I need to put away all this stuff. I don't know. We're on an upswing. This is definitely, you know, it was an upswing, but we know it ended up being one of the biggest fails in Amberlynn history. And then we're going to go hang out with some friends, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wow. So what do you guys think of Amber Lynn, the beginning of the Octavia era? Does it relate to her freshly and quitting that? I mean, she did, uh, spend a lot more time on that. But now we are going to take a look at public perception at the time and do a comment of the day where we look at the comments on this particular video from just one year ago. So 
let's get into it. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, common of the day. And today we are looking at public perception at the time of release when it comes to her grocery haul and wraith vlogging video. Our look back at Amberlynn's life just one year ago. So let's randomly pick a winner. <laughs> Octavia. That is the yogurt, actually. This is from Luna Lovegood, and she said, why would someone who has their life together hang out with her? So I believe that is in with reference to Rafe. And I don't believe that she does. <laughs> um... This is a reply, and they say Rafe is absolutely the last person that should be calling anyone a ham. And this is in reference to, of course, the infamous you now that Rafe did that broke up their friendship that we did reference in this video. Um, Rafe did, in fact, fat shame Amberlynn, which, yikes. This is from Lindy, and she says, People are judging it based on preconceived notions, like, Hello, Amberlynn. You haven't even started the program yet. Who's judging what based on preconceived notions? And I believe that is referencing the fact that it was an MLM, and it just seemed pretty scammy, pretty scummy. There just wasn't enough to, the, to it. And it was overpriced. This is from Zoe Mountain, and she says, Amber is literally me trying to get all the words in for an essay so repetitive and never getting to the point or doing it. And this is, you know, very true. Um, I've been there. I've done that. I've tried to pad out essays. And yeah, that's a very good analogy. Very good. I think that's a reply. This is from Paige, and she says, I never even see anything vile being said. It's LOL, just truth being thrown back at her. I do see people say vile things on other videos about her, but not here. And yeah, there is a lot of um, vile things that are said about her, but there is also a lot of truth that she can't seem to handle. Um, I believe most of the time, She's clapping back to people who say pretty reasonable things. I mean, occasionally she'll post that someone said something really vile and evil. <laughs> um, but those are the kind of trolling comments that every YouTuber gets. So there is a major difference between just straight vitriol and someone coming at her with the truth and she doesn't like it. Pick the most liked recent comment. And it's from Michael B. Patty. Uh, he says, research is more than searching a hashtag on Instagram. Just saying. That's funny. Um, yeah, it did seem like she she knew a lot about the program. Uh, let's be fair, but um, it just didn't work for her and we know how it ended up so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i will of course catch you guys in the next one bye guys